Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to learn about how to build an APK using the Ionic Capacitor. And also we will see how to run it in Android and iOS and whole lot of stuff we will see out there. Also we will see how to run it in emulators and everything. We will check it out in this particular video. But, 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 before getting started I would like to tell you that there is a limited period offer that is going on in my Ionic course with Firebase where I am showing you how to build a food delivery application, the customer and along with that lot of basic concepts to advanced level concepts you will learn out there. So if you haven't enrolled in that you can check the link which is in the description. It is available in Udemy in bestseller. So you can just check that out okay and there will be a lot of upgradation that will be coming on. So with that being said let's dive into our today's video. So out here at first we are going to create a new project for which I will use this command ionic start then the project name let me call it social sharing well we won't be using that up in this particular video but later on we will be using that up so I want to show you how exactly the capacitor project can be built in Android and iOS so let's go with that so I will have a blank project out here so I'll write blank and then dash dash type equals to angular because we are going to use the angular framework out here all right let me hit enter and you can see it is getting created all right now it is asking me to create a free ionic account well i won't do that up because i need to use ionic airflow for that which is a paid one it is free for some cases but we will not use that up right now okay so i'll just hit no and hit enter fine now once that is done I will open this project in Visual Studio Code by using code space dot and hit enter. But you have to go to the project folder at first. So I was into the wrong location. So let me simply copy this up and I'll paste it out here. Hit enter. Now I am into the project location. Now I can simply type code space dot and it will open up the project for us. So once the project is ready you can see out here. The project has opened up in Visual Studio Code. All right. So I've enlarged it so that you can see it properly. All right. Now let me show you by running it into our browser using the Ionic serve. So I've just opened this particular terminal. Now if you don't know how to do that up, simply go to the terminal at the top and you will get this option new terminal. So just open that up. Now out here I'll simply type Ionic serve hit enter. So once you do that up you can see it is opened up in the browser. I will simply inspect it up and this is the blank application that we can see if you want to change the view or you want to show the frame. You can simply select some other one. Let me just select 5x this one. You can see the frame is showing up right. So this is how you can change. Now since it is running pretty nicely in our browser let's build this up. So I'll just maximize it. Now let me just simply stop this up and I'll show you how to build this for Android and iOS. For that, what I need to do? Well, at first I'll change the package name and the app name. So let me go out here to the capacitor.config.ts file and out here I need to change this package name which should be unique one and you need to type your domain name at first in the reverse order. If your domain name is say suppose techniques.com you need to write com.technics out here. So let me just type it com.technics in the reverse manner dot the name of the application without any space or any hyphen or something okay. So let me just type out here social sharing okay in this particular manner you can just write it down no hyphen nothing. So this is your unique app ID which you are typing out here because your domain name will be unique right. If you do not have a domain name still you can type the name out here that's pretty okay doesn't matter. But this one should consist of a unique name okay otherwise it will give you some errors when you are building it up. Now this will be your app name so let me just have social sharing irrespective of the hyphen social sharing app all right. So this is ready out here in the configuration and maybe out here also you need to change the or I'll leave it as it is. Now what I'll do once we have done that up now I'll simply run ionic build because if we don't run that up the www folder will not be created and well we won't be able to add the android and ios platform pretty nicely because we need to sync it up right when we go for the syncing part it won't work properly if we make any change out here. So you need to run this particular one analytics if you want to give it let's give yes not a problem you can even give go for no also doesn't make any difference okay 
It just means that whether you want them to be tracked or not. That's the only thing that they want to know. And there is a new version of Ionic CLR. Let me just update it quickly. So I'll just type it. Let's do it at the same go only. It won't take long. All right, it is done. So once that is done, what I need to do? Well, our Ionic build is properly running now. Now we have the www folder out here. You can see, right? Once that is ready, I'll simply add the platform for Ionic and I Android and iOS. So Ionic cap, cap is a short form of capacitor, add iOS. Let me hit enter. And when I change this particular configuration, it's going to change everywhere in the Android and iOS platforms. Okay. If you don't change it up, then later on, you can simply in the search, you can just type the earlier one, io.ionic.starter and in, replace it with the package name that you want. It will replace everywhere. So that is a better approach to work with if you have missed it out. Okay. Now the iOS platform is created. Let's go for the Android one. So add Android. Now I already have Android Studio and Xcode installed in my system, which, which is pretty easy. You can just check the documentation if you have any problem of Ionic. And it's very easy to set it up in Windows also and in, and in Mac also. All right. And I'm using a MacBook M1, so I don't have any problem in setting that up. You won't face any problem in any version at all. Okay. All right. Once that is done, everything is good to go. Now we simply need to run it or open it up in their respective platforms. That is for Android, let's open up the Android Studio because I want to show you how to create the APK file out there. So Ionic cap open Android. Now, if you're making some changes into your application, well, let's say out here in the app homepage TypeScript file or anywhere you are making some changes in the HTML, whether you are name changing the name or something, and you are trying to open that up in Android one before opening up, you need to sync the project because the changes which you are doing out here won't be reflected in the Android and iOS platforms until unless you sync that up. So you simply need to use the command ionic cap S Y N C sync Android instead of open. You just type out here sync. Once the syncing is done, then you can simply go for opening up in their respective platform. Now, if you type the command ionic cap sync, then it's going to sync the project in both Android and iOS. So it's pretty better to use that particular command. Now coming back to Android studio, let's open it up by using this particular command. What is wrong? Okay. I just wrote Ionic app. I beg your pardon for that. It's going to be Ionic cap. Okay. Let me hit enter and you can see Android studio has opened up pretty fast, right? And everything is getting set up. So always make sure that you have the upgraded version out here. So let me just click out here, begin upgrade to Gradle. Okay, let's go for it. Let me minimize this up. It will run in the background, no problem at all. Now you can see out here, well, I have some device, an emulator. Let's run on that at first. So no emulator is running, but it will still run out here. It has opened up the emulator. You can see out here, right? So now it is building the application and launching the app out here. You will see the application right now. There we go. This is the application that we have just seen in the browser also, right? So it's going to be the same stuff. The ones that is running in our emulator pretty nicely, how to set an emulator if you do not know, well, you need to simply go out here. Where is it? This is the one. So you can create another device, virtual device out here. Just select the ones which you need and go ahead. It's going to create one more. All right. Let me just minimize it up. Now I'll show you how to create an APK. So at the very top, you need to go to build okay you won't be able to see it out here because that part is hidden but you need to click on build and in the build now you will be able to see i'm going to build bundle okay and you can generate the apk out here now this is just for the development purpose for the signing one you have to go out here okay so let me just build this up at first pretty simple right i've clicked on that and you can see out here apk generated successfully for one module if you want to look it, let me just click out here. And this is the location where it is being built. So this is the, now this particular APK file, I have shared it via WhatsApp in my phone and check that out. I haven't shown you that part, but after checking it in my phone, it is perfectly running nicely. Just you need to allow the download from the unknown sources. Okay. In the settings, it will, oh, it will prompt you to do that up. But if it doesn't, then you can do that up. And if still, if does, if it doesn't work in your system, 
then what you can do you can generate a signed apk let me show you that part so let's go to build again and this time i will go to generate signed apk bundle because what happens is until and unless the app is signed well the system in the android mostly shows up that it is not from the authenticated one all right so there is a security threat in that that is why you need to sign this up and what you need to sign well you do if you need apk then you can simply go for it for publishing it in play store definitely you need to generate this android bundle out here okay this will generate a, a .aab file which will be compatible with all the versions of android whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit all right and the size will depend based on that okay not on all the versions of android definitely there is a minimal sdk version for that which you can change as per the requirement so that is how it's going to work now let me generate the apk so in the apk one you can simply pass the key store path so i'll just create a new one and out here i need to pass the path so let me just click on it and i need to store it at a particular location so out here let me just search for the location let me just go inside that ionic applications i will go to social sharing within that i'm going to have this thing and i will name it as this will be the key name so let me have the name social sharing for the time being don't give any space okay just hit save and you need to type a password out here let me just give any password kindly give a strong password and you need to remember these credentials because every time you want to generate an update version of this particular one then you need to use the same key once you are publishing it up okay this is the allies name so let me give the same name social sharing password should be also same so that you can remember pretty nicely and for how long it's going to be valid well this one i don't want it for a long period of time obviously i'm not going to launch this up but that should be the maximum age that you can pass out here so give it 75 years or 100 years whatever you want and till that time period the key will be valid okay well the first name last name of yours so let me just give out here my one and organization you need let me just give anything out here for the time being but actually you should give your company unit name and the organization name also out here then city state code just simply type all this okay so after typing i just hit okay and we are good to go with this particular stuff everything is showing out here remember the password so that it will take the head of, headache of remembering the password we don't have to look for that but still you need to remember that up okay in case you need somewhere i'll simply go for next and which one do you want to really uh, you want to have the debug one you want to sign or the release one let me go for the release one so i'll just hit finish gradle build is running all right this is ready so external edit files can be added to give and this is the one so let me just click out here well how do i see that okay let me go to the location earlier location only and out here i will see somewhere the release one of course let me just check this one okay this build not out here this is the one okay within the app there is a release folder and this is the release one okay and if you want to check the key where is the key well the key is not showing up out here but no need to worry so this is the release one if you just share it in the in your phone then it's going to work properly all right so this is how you generate an apk now our apk is done let's work with the other one which is the ios one so let me just show you how to create that up and run it in the simulator okay so what i'll do let me just cut this terminate because android is done now i simply need to go out here to the visual studio and this time i'm going to open it in ios all right no permissions because we haven't implemented any feature as of now so no need to do anything so it's going to open the project in xcode now there we go the xcode has opened up and everything is good to go processing files all right it is ready now let me go to this particular app and out here in the app one you can see this signing and capabilities now out here you need to select a team at first out here there is none but i have already created a team personal team so you can simply add an account which is free of cost all right so if you don't have this account well it's going to give you some warning and it won't allow you to build the application in most cases obviously now the errors are gone we are good to go 
Now in the F1, what do we need to do? We don't need to do anything actually. I just wanted to show you how it looks like if you do not know. Okay, so this is the whole stuff that we need to look into and out here there is one info.plist also. This is what this is the one. If you want to pass the permission, you can do it out here or you directly from the info.plist in the Android folder. You can do it in the Visual Studio Code also. All right, so this is the whole stuff. Let's try to run this. I will open up a simulator. All right, too many simulators. Let me go for 13 Pro and I will hit this play button now. It is building up. Let's wait for it to show. All right, the build is succeeded and it has opened up. Great. Let me just maximize it up and the app has opened up out here. You can see it, right? And if you want to like run it in your phone, simply connect your phone via USB and out here the phone will be detected. You just click out here. Where is it? In the app one. All right. Out here the phone will be detected at the top and you can select that up and simply run this button. Okay. Then this will also be done. Now for the API file, if you're looking for that, then you have to just check it. But I won't recommend it because running the API file directly into your iOS will take a lot of things to do because iOS does not allow like the way in Android. It can be run. I have already done that up, but it takes a lot of things in the settings. You need to just search for the settings and do the stuff. So I won't recommend that way. Simply run it out here if you want. Okay. And it is already ready for uploading. So everything is good to go. You can simply upload it up. That's it. So this is the whole stuff about launching the app on simulator and emulator in fact uh, how to build an apk we you have seen that all right and how to run it in ios also you have seen so this is how we run a capacitor application build with ionic in android and ios all right so many of you requested for this particular video and there you go it is ready okay so i hope i have answered all your queries regarding this how to create an apk and run it in iOS in the simulator using the Ionic project with capacitor. So this is it for this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done. And if you are new out here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That will help the channel grow. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.